I've explained before um, that I watch what's going on in the world and in a lot of cases I'm able to predict things that are going to happen and when I saw this illness in China what was happening I knew it was a matter of time before it came here and I predicted the mask mandates and even the <laughs> toilet paper fiasco <laughs> um, I kind of warned everybody I said get what you need because the panic is coming and once the panic hits everybody's gonna be hoarding everything and you know nothing's gonna be available for a while and well I nailed that one so I had lots of toilet paper I bought some ahead of time not out of fear but because I knew that you know everybody's gonna be freaking out and it's gonna be a while before it becomes available again well that seems to have calmed down now uh, but the issue I'm seeing coming now is food shortages and it's not entirely because of this illness. Um, if you look at all the, the, the millions of pigs in China that had to be slaughtered because of the swine flu. Um, we got the locust swarms in Africa, Asia, and Middle East. I don't think they've spread farther than that at this point in time. Um, the flooding in the states last year really really put a dent in our our food reserves and I if I remember correctly I don't think we've recovered from that we as in you know worldwide food food chain uh, the recent flooding in China all the farmlands that were flooded out and if their Three Gorges Dam fails, which it looks like it might, then they're going to be uh, looking for help from around the world as far as food goes. They have a lot of people there to feed. And if they lose their food supply, you know, that's where else is it going to come from? We have to supply them, right? So we got that going. Um, now, because of the illness, a lot of cattle have been slaughtered because farmers couldn't afford to keep them there's been fields that have been plowed under because of lack of harvesters uh, still this goes on and on and in a lot of cases there are things that you just can't get right now and obviously because of that prices are going to be going up uh, I can't get my Fruitopia anymore. It's been a while since I've even, you know, <laughs> seen any hint of it. I even tried Walmart. Even Walmart can't get it. And there's a lot of things I know. Uh, several people that just can't get the things that they want. So for me, the only thing, the only issue I've had is the Fruitopia. That's the only thing I haven't been able to get among the things that I normally buy on a regular basis. And oh yeah, the Oroville Dam in California, that's still an issue. If that goes, you know, that's that's going to be a big hit for the U.S. And if you look at your food packages when you buy them, look at where it come from, a lot of it's imported, and a lot of it comes from the U.S. So, I put all these videos together uh, just to show you know, all the, the issues the farmers in my little tiny corner of the world have been having. And this is just this small little area. And if there's a problem worldwide or nationwide, our local farmers are going to have uh, a tough time trying to take up the slack. So I guess that's just kind of the point that I'm kind of making. And it isn't just here. It's all over Ontario, all over Canada, all over North America. And it's, it's worldwide. There's issues worldwide with our, our food chain right now and not being conspiratorial or anything it's just look at the facts you know look at what's happening look at all the the farmlands that have been lost over the last many months and it's 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 coming it, it may not be here till we don't see anything till next year you know, potentially it could be that long but like I say, there's some items that are already being affected by it. So I just want to 
give everybody a heads up. Make sure you're prepared for this. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't really pay attention to, you know, world events. And I know that. I know a lot of people that, that just don't bother. Um, you look at the stores, you say, well, our shelves are full. You know, it's no big deal. Yeah. For now, yes, they are. <laughs> Minus a few, you know, obvious products. But you don't have to believe me. You don't want to believe me. It doesn't matter. Uh, but you will see. It is coming. And I just, I'm only telling you this just to give you a heads up. Make sure you're prepared for it. Um, there is world reserves uh, a lot of places that like grain for example I can't remember how many months they are they have stored that's that's been depleted because of the loss of the farmland last year from the flooding so that reserve has been used up there was nothing to replace it with uh, as far as this harvest season goes that might help out I'm not sure what the situation was. I know that there was some flooding this year as well. But last year it, it was the flooding lasted so long that the some crops weren't even weren't even able to be planted. That I can't speak. Some crops weren't even able to be planted. So and other ones they they had already been planted and been flooded out and uh, they lost a, a lot of it. So it's coming. And I just want to give a heads up. Well, okay, I caught up with all this now. No more doom and gloom. <laughs> Back to the good stuff in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.